It will fulfil a lot of the uh, the needs uh, we feel for a standard family that would live there. It won't do everything, okay, but as a start, as a way of reducing the impact on needing supermarkets, we thought that was one way we could start. What we're doing this weekend, we're running a basic introduction to permaculture weekend. It's looking at just different ways, sustainable living really. It's looking at ways we can grow our food sustainably, uh, build sustainably, build sustainable housing, um, forestry management, water management, all kinds of aspects of human life really that we can actually do in more sustainable ways than we are currently in our culture at the moment. To absorb it and seal it. So that you don't get smells, you know. Lifting, will you? <laughs> is, it, is it supported by anything then? Will it, I mean, th that looks a, a bit precarious, like you could fall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, you'll get used to it. Yeah. The whole philosophy of the open house, uh, it was set up as a creative house, whatever that meant to people. So there's been films, books, music, everything written here or done, you know, painted here and or gardening. It didn't have to be the fine arts. It went into all sorts of things, you know. Uh, some people make a great art of making a fine cup of tea, which is fantastic, you know, making bread. You know, it has the extension, logical extension, is really um, doing something with a heart. Well, so here. that whole and ethos has never changed, really, and that's... Oh. Crass wasn't any different, you know, and all the things that happen, have happened since is not any different. The spirit's the same. There's no more trials there. No, um, is the swift answer to that. There were three, unless there were more, unless there were more down the bottom. Right? What made punk important to me was the whole idea, you know, this whole thing, the whole ethic of do it yourself, you know, don't wait for them out there, the government, the system, whatever, they're not going to provide the answers. We provide our own answers, we do it ourselves. And in a way, the whole permaculture thing just follows on that from that quite logically, really. I suppose it just remains, just if we just do a little closing circle thing, you know, just a couple of words about what you've enjoyed about the weekend. I think sometimes you can feel isolated, you know, especially when none of your friends or your peers are involved and gardening or anything and they think you're a bit of a headbanger and you tell them so it's just nice to meet like-minded people and share views and discuss ideas. I'm Ron and uh, I always just like being at Dahl House and these temporary autonomous zones of people coming together and building a little community it's always hopeful an affirmation of uh, humans and uh, what we can do potential. What most have got out of it is that you, know, you could you could gather a whole group of people from different places, different backgrounds, different ideas, and we're all sort of aiming and, and all sort of agreeing on a that we need to do something, and that we can, um, and that it's not pointless. One of the great.